Hey guys, it's Jess, and I am here today to talk about Lies I Told by Michelle Zink. This is an advanced reader's copy, and this book did come out on the 7th, so I'm a smidge behind the ball here, but it is so good. Oh my gosh, if you not, have not heard about this book, you need to pick it up. It was released this month, and it is awesome. I give it 4 out of 5 stars. The only reason I give it 4 out of 5 is because we all know I have a huge dislike for insta-love, and I do think that this book has a little bit too much insta-love for my tastes, but the character, the main character, and the other character involved in the insta-love are high schoolers, so it's expected, and that is just something that I think I'm getting old enough to really dislike. Like, insta-love is not a thing for me anymore, but this is a young adult book, so it makes sense. For those of you who don't know, Lies I Told is about a girl named Grace who's been adopted into this kind of like crime family, kind of like a scamming family. They go around and scam people out of money and goods, and then they start this job called a Playa Hermosa job where things start to get a little too real for Grace, and she starts to learn a little bit more about what they're doing and who they're doing it to, and she starts to feel a little remorse about it, and things just get too personal too quick and so she starts to second guess and so this story follows that and I also found out this is the first in a series I don't know how long of a series duology trilogy or longer not really sure but I'm so happy it is because I fell in love with Grace she is such an amazing character so well written in my opinion the development we see of Grace in Lies I Told is just so great she starts off as this girl who is just trying to do good by her family and she ends up being kind of her own person and kind of coming into her own skin and it is such an amazing development. The ending of this is, I can't say I didn't see the huge twist coming because I did see it coming, but the huge like circular pattern that the whole thing takes is just so amazing and you understand when you read it what I'm talking about, but the writing in this book is just so well thought out. You can tell that Michelle Zink definitely planned it from beginning to end. She just didn't kind of like throw it together and see what happened. It is so good. I highly recommend it. If you have not read it, if you have not heard about it, you should pick it up because it is amazing. I am a huge fan and I know I'm going to have to probably wait a year to a year and a half to read the next one, but I cannot wait. And this will definitely be, definitely be a book that I pick up again when I go to read the next one because it was so good. One thing I talked about in my blog review, which I've linked down below, is that very rarely do I read a book and not look at the page number to see how far along I am or how much I have left. I can only recall twice while reading Lies I Told that I actually looked at the page number and was like, oh, how much longer do I have? Which is, to me, the definition of a great book. And this one kept my heart racing and my thoughts going and just always second guessing, oh my gosh, what if this happens? Oh my gosh, what if Grace happens to do this? Or, or what if so-and-so comes in and sees her and it is just oh it is so good if you have read lies I told let me know what you thought down below because I need to talk to someone about this book because it was so good and I want to talk about it with somebody who has read it so I can spill the secrets that's my review of lies I told I really really recommend this pick it up it is such a great book it was so good the next book I'm going to be reading is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by JK Rowling this is the third in the Harry Potter series, so we're doing good on timing. One a month is what I had hoped for, so here we are on to number three. Like I said, if you've read Lies I Told, let me know what you thought down below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!